Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Greta. She's a Himalayan and Persian mix. I'm going to take her out of her bubble. I am alone today. I don't have help, so hopefully she doesn't try to kill me. This is my first time grooming her, so I have no idea what her temperament's going to be like. Okay, kitty, kitty. Are you gonna be nice? Hello? Hello? Can we come out of the bubble? She's like, yeah, I don't care. I don't like you. Come on. Come out of the bubble. Let's go. Let's go. This is a bit of an awkward cage. She was running around on the table because she was really scared, so I put the happy hoodie on her. She has some matting that I'm going to shave out before her bath. So using a 10 blade, let's see what happens. Hopefully she doesn't panic. What else you got, kitty kitty? Just got a big one here. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, good kitty. I should have clipped her nails first, but better late than never, I guess. Hopefully she's okay and doesn't try to bite. She's starting to shake her tail, which means that she's not overly happy. Looks like the owners clip her nails, unless she just has one of those scratch posts that she really uses. Please don't try to kill me. That tail suggests that you would really like to kill me. So I'm gonna try to put her in the bathtub. She's probably going to be really scared. Obviously it's a cat and this is water. I have my cat muzzle handy in case I need it. I'm going to keep her happy hoodie on. Here goes nothing. Please don't kill me. Very good cat. Good girl, Greta. Please don't try to jump. I'm just gonna hold back here just in case she does try. Cats really like to do things sporadically so you don't see it coming, but the way that she's looking around, she's looking around, she's looking for a way to escape. She's considering jumping. So if she jumps, I have had cats hang off this bar before. I'd really rather she didn't do that because I don't have anybody here to help me get her if she does. What a surprise. A lot of people have asked me if I've ever had to send dogs or cats home before. The answer to that is absolutely yes. I have had lots of extremely neurotic, both cats and dogs. I am far more concerned about aggressive cats than I am dogs because cats have five defense mechanisms you know, four sets of claws and teeth, where dogs really only have their teeth. So if I can muzzle a dog, I'm not concerned about them scratching me. I mean, they might scratch me, but it won't be horrific. Where a cat, I can muzzle her, but she can come at me with four claws and shred me like a cheese grater. So yeah, I'm definitely more concerned about cats than I am dogs. So I'm gonna let her walk out of the tub now and I will turn on the water so that I can rinse her. And I used de-shedding shampoo today. You're a good cat. Okay, ready? Let's go. So hopefully she doesn't panic when I turn the water on. I'm gonna hold her at the back of the neck just in case she does. It's okay, it's okay. And the water is on very, very low. No, no, you're okay. It's just like the bath, only you're not in water anymore. Okay, 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 don't panic, don't panic. No, no panicking. Good kitty. It's okay. I know, it looks weird. It's okay doing really good. So these types of cats have to be maintained by humans. They were designed by humans. They have a lot of hair that they need to keep brushed and clean. 
it can be very difficult on a cat to do that themselves. It's okay, it's okay. This cat's coat is in great condition. It's it just had a very little matting. She was a little bit dirty. The water is a bit brown. So they do need baths because this is a lot of hair for them to lick clean. I know. I gotta get all the soap out though. No, don't jump. Don't do it. Okay, I'm pretty confident that the soap is out. I'm just gonna squeeze her and see if I see any suds. Don't go that way, because you'll end up in the water again. You don't want that. I'm gonna finish towel drying her on the table, and then I'm gonna put her into the rage cage to blow dry her. She's never been blow dried before to my knowledge, so she might panic. It's better she's in the rage cage as opposed to being on the table, because if she's on the table, she can become a flying cat. We don't want a flying cat. I'm gonna brush her out with the slicker brush first, and then I'm gonna go over her with the cat comb. I didn't see any matting, but she is tangled. Probably part of that to do with the dryer. She has really, really long thick hair. It's beautiful. Jeez, it must be a lot of work for your owners to maintain. She's being a very good cat. No hissing, no clawing. A little bit of tail whipping, but that's the majority of it. She's, she's awesome. I would definitely do her again. So I can brush pretty rough here just because there actually really is no matting. It's just tangles. And her coat is like, it reminds me of like rabbit fur. It's so soft and silky. She really is as soft as she looks. Oh, you're so cute. I would keep you. Yes, I would. People say that I am not a cat person. That is most certainly not true. The reason why I'm called girl with the dogs is simply because I had to teach myself how to groom cats. I didn't really know how to groom cats. And I just had far more dog clients than I ever had cat clients. So the reason why it was called girl with dogs was because there was a lot more dogs than there was cats. Now I get tons of cats ever since YouTube because people watch my videos and they call me. But prior to that, I didn't really get very many cat clients. I also don't own a cat simply because I really hate litter boxes, I'm not gonna lie. But other than hating litter boxes, I really like cats. I actually had a cat that I rescued from Kazakhstan. I actually went to Kazakhstan and I brought home, I was supposed to bring home seven dogs and seven cats. I brought home the seven cats and one dog because at the Canadian border sent six of the puppies back to Kazakhstan. That's a very long story. We did end up getting them to Canada and they went to their forever homes, but it was very, very complicated and annoying. But despite that, um, the cat that I rescued, one of them, I named him Kaz and I kept him. He had ringworm for, I would say a couple of months. I had to actually not work for a period of time because ringworm is so contagious. And I had to treat him every single day with a antifungal bath and every other day with a lime sulfur dip to get him back to health. He also had an upper respiratory infection. I kept him, he was a great cat, taught him how to walk on a leash. He loved my dogs, especially Gidget. Him and Gidget were best friends. But when I moved unexpectedly due to an unfortunate situation, I could not take him with me because he was an escape artist. 
and I was moving to a very busy street. I was worried that he was going to get hit by a car. He wasn't very bright, I'm not gonna lie, no offense to him. And I thought to myself, if he gets hit by a car, I will literally die because he is the best. So I thought it was in his best interest to rehome him with somebody where he'd be safe. He lives a great life, he's happy. I hear updates about him every now and then. I definitely miss him, but I do think that if he came here, he wouldn't still be alive. He would just, you would open the door and he would just run out as fast as he possibly could. And he was an indoor cat. I only let him outside if he was on a leash. So long story short, Kaz had to go to a new home and I was very sad. Shave the sanitary. It's okay, kitty. Don't bite. Come here. Oh, you have a mat there. There you go. Shave out the paw pads. Just a little bit. The reason why I shave this on cats is just because it, it's okay, be nice. It collects a lot of litter, right? So people kind of love it when you shave them because then they don't have to clean as much litter off of them. Spray her down in bubblegum cologne. This is safe for cats. It's a very mildly scented, and the scent doesn't last very long, it lasts for maybe a day. So people always say like, oh, why do you spray them in cologne? And honestly, it doesn't last long enough for it to bother the animal. Okay, and there you have it. Greta is all finished, looking beautiful. She was very well behaved. I'm going to put her back in her cat bubble, and something tells me she will just go right back in it because that's usually what cats do here. Kind of a weird, there you go. See, they all go back into their carriers because they know that means that they're leaving and they all want to leave. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.